Hey there, welcome back to the Jericho SMP Let's Play. My name is, of course, Little C, and today we have a pretty fun and big project to work on, and I am super excited for that. But before we get started, you might be wondering, Little C, why didn't you take the pumpkin off for the intro? You took off all the other gear. Well, I kind of can't take the pumpkin off right now. And you all, now you're probably wondering, well, how did you get a curse of binding pumpkins stuck on your head? It, it's it's a long story, but let's just say I was putting a dispenser at spawn with Curse of Binding Pumpkins. Because I thought, haha, that'd be funny if people put, got this stuck on their head. And while I was doing that, I accidentally stepped on the pressure plate, not realizing I already put a pumpkin inside of the dispenser. And now this is stuck on my head. Why I wasn't wearing a helmet at the time, I don't know. But, yeah, so this is stuck on my head now. And the reason I'm not taking it off is, one, I have a texture pack. It removes it. It's not that big of a deal, like, to have this. And I'm going to take this off because, honestly, it's just goofy and I want to have a helmet. But the end fight is coming up very, very soon. So I'm just leaving this on until that. And, yeah, that's my reason. But today, our project is... We are going to be working on a new storage room. As you can see, we're going to be building an entrance to the storage room, build the new storage room, and hopefully we'll have time to do all of this. This might be separated into a few different episodes, but we are building a new storage room. Also, here's a little note for you guys. Subscribe! So let me go downstairs here and explain how I want to do this. I've been doing a lot of digging, and you might be wondering, why well, isn't that using a lot of durability? I did make a mending pickaxe. I know. How dare you use mending? You see, this is only for major projects, like major digging projects. Major, that's why it's called Mega Miner. But I've been using that for down here, digging all of this big area out. Now, I have three entrances. The one we just came down. If we go back up here, you can see there's an entrance over here. And then if we go over here, there's also this entrance. All three of these entrances are probably going to be taken out. I'm not sure what I want to do yet for the entrance. So that's what we need to figure out. After doing some thinking, why don't I just put this staircase but on this side instead of having the bubble columns? I think one, that'd look cooler. And two, that way we don't have to mess with this as much. Now, all of these chests are probably going to be taken out because then it'll just be the big storage down below. But that should be... That should work, right? So if we just grab some stairs. In this base, the reason I'm making a bigger storage room is I'm running out of space. Like, these two chests are just full of cobblestone. And I just want a big storage room. And yeah, it's a mess up here right now. There's chests all over. And there's all kinds of workbenches. All kinds of stuff just everywhere. And yeah, that should be good. Uh, no, don't. I don't want to fall. I, I have fallen. Okay, that... At least we have a quick way to get back up when we do fall. So yeah, this will just be like a basic staircase that goes down. And I think this will go down all the way. I think that will be a cool way to do it. So I'm just going to get to digging here. And then we'll see what happens from there. So because this entrance right here is so close to the wall, I think what I'm going to do is have the storage to be along this wall and then have it like go around. It's not going to be like centered. It's going to be like a big room and this will be near the edge, I think. And then we can store like the stuff we need to get all the time. But that does require us. I think I am going to dig out a bit more here. Man, that is a big cave. Let's just dig out a few more rows here and see what we can mess around with. I'm just going to dig it to that layer right there. I think this will be the wall. Maybe we can have storage all along this wall. I'm not sure. I don't think I want this to be the center point of it. And I'm not sure what I'll do with the other entrances. Maybe those can be like back end entrances to get to like the important redstone parts. We'll just kind of have to see. Man, I wasn't paying attention to my pickaxe and it almost broke. Like it is very close to breaking. So I'm just going to head up to the gold farm. And well, we just filled up another double chest with cobblestone. So let's just grab another one and the reason i'm using this pickaxe is just because it's the only one with mending and it's the only one that i'm gonna have with mending like i think that because i'm trying not to make the game feel too easy and i want to go through tools and i love to switch out tools like there's something just fun in that itself so i want to have to like do that whereas if i put mending on everything i never have to make new tools or anything unless i die 
But the reason I have this one is just it gets very annoying. Like I can go through the ability in about 20 minutes just mining out this like large area. And because I want to do some pretty major builds, I thought it'd be fine to do this. But I'm going to head up to the gold farm and then we can get back to work. I think I'm almost done with the digging out. And I think I want to do an auto sorter, but I don't know. I feel like BS wants to do an auto sorter too, so I don't really want to, if he needs all the iron and stuff to do it. But it'd be so nice to just have everything automatically sorted. But my theory is we can always go back and auto sort stuff later, I guess. I don't know. It's This is so tough for me. I do know I want, like, a really nice-looking auto furnace, like, that you don't really see. You just see the entrance of, like, you see the intake, and then... Wait, is that baby zombie chasing me? Yeah. But you just see the intake, and then... Yeah. I got my pickaxe fixed up, and then I also dug out, like, a tiny little bit right there. And this place is huge under here, and since this is gonna be our main entrance, it's gonna have, like, a chest wall right here, I think. But I think I want this to be lower, or maybe taller. I think I'm going to lower it by a few blocks, because I think that would look really good to have a more grand thing. But first, I kind of want to get the dimensions of what I want first. So let's just go with, like, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do seven here. And then this could be, like, maybe if we do an auto sorted, that could be the in-tank chest. So let's kind of just dig out how far we want. And I'm going to do this pretty far. No, oh my. Oh, my. Oh, my. This is scary. This is very scary. I do not like this cave at all. I don't like this one bit. Uh. No. Why Why are the mobs lagging? Why are you? Oh, someone's joining the game. It seems like whenever someone joins the server, it lags. Which is not good. Okay, they're done lagging now. No, do not explode and give me your gunpowder. Please. Aw. I'm trying to save up gunpowder so when we get elytras, I can make myself a bunch of rockets. Okay, I'm not going to explore all this cave. I just wanted to get kind of safe. Oh, hello, zombie. Hello, skeleton. Hello, other zombie. Okay, let's head back here. I do not need this stuff here we go let's see i guess we just stack up i need to be more safe when i'm digging out apparently i didn't realize i was gonna end up dying here my goodness so i think i got all the digging i want to get done so here you can see kind of my plan each one of these will have three chests in the middle and then a spruce pillar in front of the chest there will be barrels which in this corner might cause some issues i'm just realizing this with the design so these corners might actually just be like overflow or intake or something else man right as i'm explaining it i find an error in the design anyways so it should be fine but there will be barrels like right here and then item frames up top with what's in each chest the barrels will be for shulker boxes which we don't have yet but we will have very very soon and I'm excited for that. But we will be able to put overflow of, like, let's say, cobblestone or stone where we have lots of it. Even if it fills up the sorter, we can just put it in shulkers. Or if we go ahead and collect it, put it in a shulker and then put it in a barrel in the front. So now I want to get started on the floor. So we need to get some materials for that. I'm going to be using dark oak for the floor because it's a bit darker than just, like, spruce. And most of the walls will be spruce and stone bricks. So let's just take these. And I think I'm going to use stripped logs and then some slabs and stuff. So for the back here, we'll just fill it with slabs because most of this will be like either redstone or just lighting or something. It won't be really important. But we just need to get the floor in for the start. And that'll be chests right here, I think. Or actually, I think for now, I'm just going to go through and put in slabs. And then I'll go back later and replace and kind of randomize it and make it look a little bit better in that way. Okay, now that we got the basic slabs placed in like this, it is time to decide where we want the barrels and then the chests to go and item frames. So, I don't think I want the barrels in the floor. Let's go grab some barrels. And then I think I'll replace this with dark oak. How do we want to transition? I'm not sure yet. 
We will figure out a good transition. Let's see, do we have any barrels anywhere? I always forget how to craft barrels, but I think it's just slabs and sticks, which would make sense, I think. I don't know. Do we have any barrels anywhere? I think that's some slabs. Yeah, I'll craft some sticks here. I have so much bamboo at my stupid project space, which I haven't shown on camera, but it's just kind of where I go when I'm bored. I'm flattening out, like, giant amounts of land. Just whenever I need something to do, I just go over there and work on stuff. I'll probably build, like, some stupid stuff. It's really just to collect bamboo, honestly. Okay, so we're going to need a lot more bells than this, but I just want to see how it looks down here. So, I was thinking originally we could put the barrels here, but surrounded by dark oak, they don't look that good because they're so bright comparative. So, if we do it here, though, and then, like, you got the dark oak, and then you got chests. Hmm. So, I think I want the chest to be raised up and something along the bottom. I think the barrels along the bottom or the item frames along the bottom. No, that looks pretty good. So this will be how... They'll just be the chests here. And then I think I'm going to do four tall. Uh, So that's four double chests per item. And if we're here... Yeah, that's good. It'll fill up the bottom first. Or... I don't know how that'll work. But it's fine. This is just going to be mostly mass storage anyways. Or do I want to do the three by three... I think I'm going to do 3x3 three three just to limit lag. I don't know if chests really cause lag or not, but I just want to be safe. And then I know barrels are very lag friendly. Like, they don't cause lag. So it's a great alternative to chests. But I'm just going to put these in so we can mess around with design and all of that. So let's take these out. These can be replaced with... That. Yeah, that looks good. For lighting, I'm not sure what I want to do. I think lanterns look good, just because it's simple, it fits the style, and all of that is good stuff. Actually, you know what? No stone brick. It's just going to be stone and andesite. And that'll be the mix. You won't really see this very much. Okay, I think here where we want to flip... Mm. I'm going to go one more here. Top of each of these. And then there'll be like maybe arches or something. Like a little. But not like too fancy. Because I want this to be a kind of tall room. Which we might have to dig out a bit taller. I should have dug down a bit farther. But it's fine. This is going to be so awesome though. Even if this isn't auto sorted. It's just going to be cool. And we could do something fancy here. And get really fancy with our curves. And do that and then on the top trapdoors are so expensive for what they are Ooh, yeah i like that besides i mean that feels very heavy on that stone block right there that could be a light block we could put a frog i don't know if frog lights are transparent blocks but like a sea lantern but do i want that and that just feels kind of boring though because it's straight across Although this is stone heavy, I think that's good because the top will be stone, so it'll kind of tie in together better. Now, this will take a lot of trapdoors, so we're going to need to just chop down spruce for like an hour and a half. The more I mess around with this, the more I want the item frames on top, so I'm going to do that, but I still think it looks good like this. Although the stone is a bit heavy right there, I think it's fine, and I think I will like this long term. And yeah, so I did some more, I did some tree chopping. And I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the barrels placed in here. And just get this row set up. And then we can work on some more stuff. I think in this corner, I'm going to have two map walls. And I think that would be cool. Because theoretically, we can just do... And we do like what we had. I don't know why we couldn't since it's put back one block. Because... Yeah, this would work. We could have storage in the corners. I don't know what I was thinking earlier. I think I was looking at the dimensions wrong or something. Or maybe I wasn't planning on having them indented back like I do now. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Who knows what I was thinking.
because that'll work just fine. So we need to figure out what we want to do in between the walls and stuff. I think for back here, underneath the chest, I'll just put like spruce. And then on the back, I'm not going to put anything yet. But right here, what do I want to do? I know here I'm going to put slabs, just spawn proofing. I mean, I can do this. That looks good. Like, that's the best looking option. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of expensive to do this, but it does look way cool. So, I guess we can just do that. And on the back, I don't know. If we don't put hoppers, I'll probably just put light blocks. And if we do put hoppers, well then, hoppers will go back here. Which will require us to dig out more space, like back here. We need more space. But I guess we're sorting it up above. So it's a bit different. Okay, so now that that is done. Mm, I want this to go here. And there wraps the design together too and this might not make sense right now it's like why it's so many trap doors but i'm gonna put blocks here wait what why can't i place it like that thank you and then that'll go up and then there'll be like a little overhang thing right here i guess hold on i need to go up here I'm thinking I'm just going to have, like, stone walls here. Like, right here. Um, I just need stone, not these stairs. Hold on, let me just get my silk touch. Let me just mine a bit of stone real quick. Instead of just going up above. Because that's how I do stuff, apparently. Let's just black that off for now. And then here... Would be that. We could put... Trap doors here, and then like that, and like this serves literally no purpose besides just looks. Let's see how this does look though. That looks okay. I think if we had like windows up there maybe, it's going to look like a building or something. But I guess we could have rooms up there, or it could kind of look back into the redstone or something. Okay, I'm going to grab sea lantern so that we can light up some of it see i bought a ton of these you can buy them at the shopping district i bought them for two diamonds a stack man that is such a good deal i love it so i'll just use these for where i need lighting which i can i please just leave oh my goodness I made it hard to leave if you get trapped in the back which you know don't get trapped back there i guess but who knows Let's do this, and let's place them... Can you still open the chest? You can. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it makes that brighter. Definitely makes that brighter. Yeah, I think that's good. It's a good lighting without having to actually see the light. Like, very much, you can kind of see it if you look close enough. But, I think this will be good. And it gives tons of light, so, like, all of this redstone area in the back will be lit up. So I've done a lot more work here and actually talked to another member on Jericho about some ideas and stuff and I haven't done too much. I put windows in there, took them out and yeah so I extended this around here, did a bit more digging on this wall in case I want to expand or anything and just to give us some extra space for the wall and all of this side is pretty much completed. I talked with Bearded Sloth and we are going to make this not a sort of, I made this like a little exit entrance kind of thing. I don't know exactly where Holy Bookworm's house is and exactly where Bearded Sloth's house is, but we do want to connect those to this so that all the houses are connected. But I am pretty happy with this. I'm not sure for the ceiling. I think I want like a rock kind of formation ceiling kind of thing, but we'll have to see. Maybe we could do a big circle on the ceiling or a dome or there's all kinds of different things we could do that would be really fun. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As I've said many times, make sure to leave any build suggestions, video suggestions, or just overall suggestions down below in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this build and are excited to see what comes for the future of this build and other projects on the base. Thank you for watching. Do all that good YouTube stuff, like, subscribe. Have a good day, and bye bye